हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू द मॉल्टर वैलिडेशन एरर्स वेन एवर यू अपलोड ए फाइल इन मॉल्टर इन नोट जेस देर आर सम वैलिडेशन फिल्टर्स डेट यू कैन अप्लाई बिफोर अपलोडिंग अ फाइल सो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट ऑल द फिल्टर्स डेट यू कैन अप्लाई इन दिस वीडियो इन डिटेल सो दिस इज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट फिल्टर वी विल सी I am only allowing the image files to be uploaded. If I select this image file, this image file will be uploaded. You can see this response. Response will come. It is successfully uploaded inside our public slash uploads folder. So if I try to show you this folder, you will see this file is successfully uploaded. So only PNG, JPG files are allowed. Let me show you the script here. In the script, you can see PNG, JPG, and JPEG. so now if i try to upload a video file so this will show me a error now if i choose a file go to my videos folder and let's suppose i select this video file if i upload file you will see the storage error so in this way this is the validation part that we are applying uh, all the source code regarding this video will be there inside the video description you can just uh, download all the source code just go to the video description and this is my blog post here i have written the complete step by step blog post you can just read it alongside with the video all the instructions are there on how to build this application and the main takeaways of this application let me just uh, delete all the code and just delete this code yes we are using ejs as you all know ejs is a template engine for rendering out uh, html documents so you can see we have successfully requiring the molter then we are requiring path library we are setting the view engine to ejs <coughs> and here we are also uh, describing that how to uh, use the error handling in molter so you can see we are rendering out a template which is index so we are storing this template inside our views folder so just create a views folder So inside this root folder, we have created views folder inside index.ejs. Just copy paste this template code. It contains only this input file, which you can see type file. It is making a post request to the slash upload file. Method is post and encoding type multi part slash form data. And then we have a simple button upload file. So now inside index.js, we are making a get request. Sorry, we need to make a post request here first of all. app dot post upload file so inside request response so here first of all we need to configure molter so now if you go to my video description link this is my blog post you will see first of all we will have this storage so wherever we will st store the uploaded files so we need to write this let me copy paste it so we have created a storage variable we are using the dist storage method of molter and here we are providing two parameters destination and file name so destination wherever we are uploading this so we are we have made a folder which is public and inside this we have a uploads folder so we are just providing the path then we have the file name filter so this will give automatic file name to the uploaded file we are using a date function which is date dot now and then we are extracting the extension from the full path by using path dot extension name function and now we just need to apply some validation filters that i talked about at the starting of the video so one such filter is file filter so you can see uh, let me just paste it copy it and here put a comma here and here just paste it here like this so this is a storage so we need to make a new variable upload and then we need to call the molter constructor and inside this we need to provide the storage option to our storage object that we have created and then we need to paste it this file filter property this takes the request file and call back so here we are comparing if the file bim type is equal to png jpg and jpeg so here we are only requiring the image files which are png and jpg so in this way you can control which files to be uploaded in molter and uh, you can also return a custom mess message here only .png .jpg and .jpg format allowed so this is a first 
filter that you can apply the second filter you can even apply for uh, controlling the size as well you can see limit file size for that you just need to create this limits property and inside this object we have the property called as file size so put a comma and here you can just put a max size constant const max size so we can put a limit of 1 MB so 1 MB is uh, approximately 1 multiplied by 1 0 2 4 multiplied by 1 0 2 4 so this is approximately or exactly 1 MB so we are only, only uh, allowing files which are at least smaller than or equal to 1 MB so you cannot upload files which are greater than 1 MB, 1 MB. so these are the filters that we can apply and of course we need to only allow single file so we can just write here single and then the name attribute that you can apply it inside index.g you can see we have given file here so we just need to provide file that's it after configuring this we can just pass this middleware function you can see let me just paste the code here so inside the post request you can see we, all, we will also handle the error handling so if any sort of error take place while uploading the file using Malta it also supports this error handling which is if error instance of Malter dot Malter error so if any sort of error take place we will send this error by response dot send if anything if all went um, good we can just console log request dot file that's it now the script is complete we can just rerun the application and pm run start so you will see we will run the run script so app is listening on port 5000 if i once again refresh this and now if i try to upload a video file let's suppose you can see it will not upload it will show the error because we are only configured the to be image files and now if i change this to let's suppose if i also up if i also allow file dot mem type mem type uh, let's suppose video slash mkv so basically we are also allowing allowing this file to be uploaded as well so now if i refresh this script if i once again choose this click on upload file so it will show me the storage error because we have uh, applied this maximum size limit also you can see it is also only 1 MB so the video is larger than 1 MB so that is why it is not uploading so we can just delete it and uh, you can just now choose an image file let's suppose I, I choose an image file click on upload file you will see now no error will take place and you will see this object be, being render, rendered out and uh, your file will be uploaded inside this folder you can just open this so in this way guys you can just uh, make use of malter alongside with this validation filters that you can apply which we had discussed in this video so thanks very much for watching this video and please check out my website freemediatools.com it's a great website if you are if you daily use audio video and image I have 130 free tools available on my website and I also add daily tools on this website. So please make sure that you check out this website and share it with your friends. And thanks very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next video. Until then, thank you very much.